Welcome to the thing where I review the things of the week things. In this thing, we review free weekend games on Steam. So the general rule of YouTube is to get your audience to want to watch the rest of the video within the first 10 seconds. Basically, get them captivated. Is that the word? Which is why we're gonna look at the most boring fucking garbage cancer first. So Ghost in the Chell is about an anime where they shoot shit or something. I don't know. I'm I'm not looking this up. I'm writing the script, watching Cow Chop. Honestly, it's so fucking boring. I, di I didn't even write anything else for this. Like, this... If you think this is, like, on a script or something, no. I, I, I just hit record on that audacity. There's really nothing else to it. So the pros, uh, it, it comes... It, it's from an anime. Like, if you're a huge weeaboo and you really like that anime, I'm pretty sure you would enjoy it. But otherwise, it's probably a piece of shit. If you're, like, a pro in Counter-Strike, and you can pull deagle headshots out of your ass across map from fucking, like, pit to ramp. Why the fuck? You, you, yeah, it's a good game. Because otherwise, like, headshots are just straight insta-kill. This is supposed to be pros. I just want to complain. It's really fucking boring. Like, really boring. If you like the anime, it'd be enjoyable. But otherwise... It's a fucking clunky, confusing mess of shit. Just look at this shit. Look, how, how is this not confusing? This looks so fucking confusing. You open the game for the first time, you go through the stupid tutorial, and you just see this, and it's just, oh god. So you put this unique things in there, because I thought it would be a good idea, but I didn't even write down anything on this little text document. I, I just said there's nothing. Duck Game is a game about wanting to literally kill your entire family, friends, and yourself included. This game is way too fucking fast. You can use Steam Workshop for this, so you, know, you could have your own custom maps, but custom maps, custom hats for it. But the issue with having all this stuff on Steam Workshop is that it'll take actually seven years for you to actually get it to work fully. Because I sat here for about 45 minutes trying to get this one Undertale map to work, and this is what happened. Compared to any other game that you play with friends and also makes you want to kill yourself, is that you probably won't get that angry over it. At least I didn't, knowing that I want to actually uh, kill other people. I have, but it is very, very competitive. So despite the fact that it is competitive, it doesn't actually make you want to kill someone. The cons is that it'll get, it can get very boring very quickly. Because the games are so fast-paced, you tend to go through all the maps and weapons quickly, and thus comes down to whoever has the fastest internet wins, or whoever is hosting wins. The Steam Workshop could help this in the fact that you can download your own custom maps, but the fact that it takes... There's so many, like, technical issues that you don't even know what's wrong to get somebody else to actually be able to play. It's just ridiculous. It's not worth it. For unique things, I don't know why I put that as a thing that I should write down. Like, probably not going to use that next time. This is a free weekend thing. Honestly, that was a bad idea.